Welcome back. Hairspray takes the stage starting tomorrow night at Hammonds Hall. Last week, Tom got to speak with Kaylee Albritton. She's the actress playing Amber Von Tussel. Take a look. After an absence of 15 years, one of your favorite shows is returning to Hammonds Hall as part of its 30th Broadway season this week. And it's a show you know and love. Say hello to Kay Kaylee Albritton, who stars as Amber Von Tussel in the touring cast of the 2003 Tony Award winning musical Hairspray. Kaylee, how are you? You're up in the frozen north right now. I sure am, Tom, and it is freezing, but happy to be here yeah. putting on this show for everyone up here in Madison. Yeah, it, I mean, touring companies are really exciting. I mean, you travel all over the country, you have your friends, it's great. Now, you know, people who already know the show, they know your character is like the girl you love to hate, all right? But sure. though, you know, for those who aren't familiar with Hairspray, give us the uh, elevator synopsis, if you will. Yeah, of course. Well, the journey begins with a 16-year-old Tracy Turnblad who has big dreams in 1960s Baltimore, who has dreams of becoming a dancer on the Corny Collins show. But along her journey, she meets a new community of people who teaches her different dreams that she has for herself to make mm -hmm. a change in the world. Now, now, of course, as I said, you play Amber Von Tr Tussel. And yes. How do you feel playing a villain? Oh yes, the ultimate question. I, I love it. I think it's so fun. And in certain heated parts of the show, whenever the audience gets involved and they express how they feel about the Von Tussles, both Amber and who plays my mom, Velma, mm -hmm. how they express their, um, their love to hate us is always so fun because you know every story has to have a villain and I'm happy to do it. It's fun and you know I I have fun doing it. Yeah, there's usually a, a lot more meat in a villain, isn't there? Do you find oh, that? Yeah, for sure. And you know, I mean, villains are villains for a reason. Um, we have to create conflict in the story, but also there are there's a lot to learn from them as well and. Mm -hmm. We, it's really necessary for me, at least, to stay honest and true to being that character fully flushed out and being completely honest as that character so that I can tell the story in its true authentic form mm -hmm. so that people feel that visceral response to it. But then afterwards, I can go hang out with all my cast members <laughs> and be nice to them out there. <laughs> yeah, okay. This, this show is an iconic show for many people. What, what is maybe the greatest challenge uh, for you playing a role that everybody knows? That's a great question. I mean, just taking it day by day and always being open to growth and letting it grow within myself because doing it for nine months it's going to grow and develop and change as i'm going to grow and develop and change and just staying honest to that because you know i'm not going to do it the same way that laura bell bundy did back in 2003 or the way that britney snow did it in the movie but just making sure that i'm having fun doing it and bringing my own interpretation to the role yeah i mean I, that that has to be one of the great joys of acting you don't copy someone you create a new persona. That's got to be a great challenge then. Absolutely, but it's the most fulfilling thing in the entire world. Now, is the show going to be different than what people might remember? I mean, you know, it started out, what was it, in the 80s as a, as a play, and then went to the musical, the movie that so many people remember, then live show. Have things developed through throughout the years? Because it seems as though the message does remain, you know, vital and the same. Absolutely. I, I think that it does feel a little bit different. I did the show back in high school when I was the same age as Amber Von Tussle. I did it eight years ago in high school. Um, and revisiting the work, it feels really, really like I, I, it feels correct doing it right now. Mm -hmm. And it in the air, you can feel the energy and it feels very charged and it is really satisfying. And as an actor and someone who wants to also solicit change in the world, I I think that, yeah, Hairspray feels a little bit different, but still with that same old whippersnapper kind of attitude. 
So uh, the folks who may have seen it at Hammonds Hall 15 years ago, they need to come and see it again. It's, oh, it's a different telling of the tale. Yeah, I, it, you just feel different. I don't, I don't know. And also, but also there's the same old songs that we know and that we love from the beginning of the creation of the musical sure. that always brings the joy and whatnot. But I think we have, now that there's been so much time that has passed, fresh eyes, it's gonna feel, it's gonna feel really special seeing it again. All right, Kaylee comes to the Hammonds Hall, March 1st through the 3rd, curtain at 7.30. And Kaylee, thank you so much for joining us today. Hope you have safe travels and we, we look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you so much, Tom. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.